In Surah 18, 83 through 86, we read, And they ask you about Dhul Karnain. Dhul Karnain is supposedly Alexander the Great. Say, I shall recite to you something of his story. Verily, we established him in the earth, and we gave him the means of everything. So he followed away, until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy, or hot water, and he found near it a people. Hmm. This passage seems to be saying that Alexander the Great traveled so far west, he found the place where the sun sets. Where does the sun set? It sets in a spring of muddy water. And people live there. Let me read a few more translations of Surah 1886 to give you a feel for what this verse is claiming. All of these translators agree on what the Quran is telling us. They all say that Dhul Karnain reached a place. What place? The place where the sun sets. Is there a place where the sun sets? No. Could Alexander the Great have reached it? No. But the Quran says he did. And what did Alexander find when he reached this non-existent place? He found the sun, which is roughly 1.3 million times bigger than our planet, going down into a pool of muddy or murky water. Does the sun set in a pool of murky water? No. Do people live there? No. So we have multiple errors in this verse. Step number two, the miracle of reinterpretation. The Quran claims to be perfectly clear. Oddly enough, Muslims constantly find it necessary to clarify this perfectly clear book for us. Let's see if Muslim apologist Zakir Naik can help us understand what Allah really means in Surah 1886. What's Allah really trying to say when he tells us that Dhul Karnain reached the place where the sun sets? Oh, so when Allah tells us that Alexander reached the place where the sun sets, he actually means that Alexander reached some unspecified place as the sun was setting. Now it makes sense. Apparently Allah just couldn't get the words right the first time around. That's why he sent Zakir Naik to make a few corrections. Thank you, Dr. Naik. Now that we've got that cleared up, it shouldn't be much of a problem for Dr. Nike to explain what Allah really means when he says that Alexander found the sun going down into a pool of murky water. Ah, a 
Allah says that Alexander found the sun going down into a pool of murky water, but he really means that Alexander saw some kind of optical illusion. The sun wasn't really setting in a pool of murky water, Alexander just thought it was. Maybe he saw a reflection in the water, and he'd never seen a sunset before, so he got a little confused. Easy mistake. Step number three, Muhammad blocks the reinterpretation. Sunan Abu Daud, 3991. Abu Dar said, I was sitting behind the apostle of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. It sets in a spring of warm water. Where does the sun set? According to Muhammad, it sets in a pool of water. So is there a place where the sun sets? Sure there is. Could we reach this place if we traveled far enough? No reason we couldn't. So those are your options. Denial, blasphemy, or apostasy. Choice is yours, my friends.